How's it going guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today's build, we are finally going to do the Mandalorian helmet. I know this has been a long time coming. So the first thing I did was look around online for some 3D files I could use to print the helmet. I found these and from what I can tell these are the most accurate ones out there. I'll leave a link down below where you can get these files as well. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is sand the entire helmet. I'll start with an 80 grit a very coarse grade and try to knock down some of the high spots from the printing. After this I'll move on to some 240 grit and I'll use some water with it. I did spend a lot of time with the 240 grit to get the surface as ready as possible for the filler. Then I'll spray on some water and wipe it off to see if there was any spots that I had missed. Now it's time for a coat of filler. The stuff I use is an acrylic modeling paste. I added some color to it and then applied it to the entire helmet with my fingers. I then decided to glue on the side and back details. Then once it is dry, I can start sanding. I once again used the 240 grit to knock down all the spots that I had built up the filler on. Now there is a small gap of filming here as I did go through the stages of using 400, 600 and 800 grit sandpaper, but you get the idea as it is a lot of sanding and it becomes repetitive. Then I went to some 1200 grit to get the surface ready for painting. After that was done, I quickly used some needle files to make sure the inside shape of the visor didn't have any spots left from printing. So for the base layer of paint, I'm using an automotive paint. The reason is I did have this can of paint spare and it does have quite a thick base. Once it is dry, I'll lightly sand it with the 1200 grit. And after that, I'll add some filler to any spots that need it. After about 7 coats of the base paint, I move on to the gloss black coat. This is the middle coat of paint. Then I move on to the metallic paint coat and I did around 4 to 5 coats. Then I tried something different. 
I tried to apply some aluminum powder with a gloss coat, basically like a cold cast layer. Then I used some steel wool to shine up the aluminum powder and to my surprise it actually kind of worked. So this is where I would normally move on to the visor and the details and call it finished. But this helmet isn't going to be a screen accurate version. I decided to do my own concept design. As some of you guys know I've started a comic book and this is the main character's helmet. So let's move on to the custom painting. I'll start with a burgundy metallic red, with some black mixed in to deepen the colour a bit more. Then I'll hit it with the first layer of clear coat. I then printed out a picture of the Vizsla clan symbol, cut it out to make a quick paint stencil, then use some black paint to add the stencil to the helmet. Now it's time to start adding some weathering and detail painting. Now that we have done a lot of weathering and added most of the details, we are getting close to finished. All that's left is to add the visor and some padding to the inside. I'll just use some thick foam matting and some adhesive velcro and hot glue to hold everything in. I got this Blue Eagle welding visor that I'm going to use. I'll use the supports that I removed at the beginning as a rough template, then cut out the shape and attach it on the inside of the helmet. Now we have the visor, we are very close to finished. And it looks like we're done. Well, this was a biggish build, a lot of sanding and a lot of waiting for paint to dry. So before I finish up, there are a few things. I have also started putting some of my 3D files on my Etsy store, so you guys can make your own designs like my saber stand and my lightsaber box. And the last thing was, as I mentioned before, I am working on a fan comic book. This is something that I've wanted to do for a very long time and I'm quite excited about it and will most likely make a video about it on the second channel at some point. So if you're a comic artist or an inker and are interested, you can message me on the Discord server, of which I will leave a link down below. I will also have links to everything in the description for everything in today's video. So that's going to be all for today guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please remember to like, subscribe, share and leave a comment of something you would like to see done in a future build. Have a good one guys. See you've made it to the end. Why don't you subscribe and check out some of our other builds? Go on, what are you waiting for?